thank you all so much for stopping by today. So y'all, it is about a couple of days after the hurricane. I hope you all are safe. I hope you're well. I hope you didn't have a lot of damage. We had a lot. When I say a lot, we had a whole bunch of rain. And so what I wanna do today is I just wanna do a little bit of cleanup of the garden, but I also want to get one of these beds planted. Now, if you join us every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our live, where we go over our garden chores, one of the things that I mentioned last week is that we were going to complete and get one of the beds that were down here we were gonna get those planted. But let me tell y'all, all this week, I have been dealing with peppers, hot peppers, and I just don't wanna deal with them today. I'm gonna to be honest with y'all. Uh, I really need to process the Tabasco peppers because this was the bed, because I figured I would do this one because it's not that full. We had Armenian cucumbers in here. We had tomatoes. And so all we really have left now is uh, banana peppers, we have the Tabasco peppers, which is what I was gonna process. And then we just have a few herbs and flowers in here. Um, and I figure I will get this planted up. I would uh, top the soil off first and then plant. But I have decided against that. So what I have decided y'all is I'm going to work on this bed over here. And the reason why is because the basil is done for the season. I know that the bees are gonna get angry, but they still have a little bit more basil in the garden to uh, kind of feed off of. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to harvest the rest of the peppers. I can use those, cause I use these quite a bit in my omelets and other dishes, and I don't have to process them because with the jalapeno peppers, we made cowboy candy, we made hot pepper sauce. Um, and so I'm just gonna give the peppers, the hot peppers a break right now. But I figure I could go in, clean this out really quick, uh, harvest the rest of what we're gonna harvest. Now, what we're going to be left with is um, the marigolds that we started from seed. In a few weeks, they'll probably start to get their blooms, uh, which is gonna be a red color. These were um, part of the summer grow kit. I started them a little bit late but we're going to just top this bed off. And I have some plants inside, some fall plants that I really want to go ahead and start planting. Um, Y'all stay to the end, like I always tell you, I know I have some kale, some cabbage, some Brussels sprouts, some broccoli, some leafy greens, but I just gotta figure out what I want to put right here. I'm really leaning towards the red kale, uh, maybe a couple other things, but I feel like once I get all of this uh, pulled, once I get it topped off with the compost, then I will have a better idea of what I want to put in this area. So let's go ahead and let's get started. <laughs> what we have planted because make sure you hit the subscribe button y'all i have changed uh several times and i've had to talk to this snap this set of snapdragons too earlier when i planted these they uh it was like an overcast the sun is now starting to come out but they were doing this before the other snapdragons over in this bed over here they did the same thing and they're now look like they're starting to snap back a little bit I know it says full sun, but they are totally acting out. Okay, so just like the other bed, I'm going to put my supports up that you see over there um, to kind of protect it from sun. Although it looks like the temperatures are dropping, I know next week the lows should be around the 60s and the highs should be like mid 70s. Um, but I am going to put diatomaceous earth around each one of these little seedlings. So in the front, we have the um, tat soy, the rosette type tat soy that we started from seed. Uh, over here, I had two more Swiss chard, but one, one just didn't, it didn't make it. I'll tell you, when I got it out there, it was like, I'm not having it. What I'm super excited about is this purple bok choy 
that you see right here. And then in the back, I'll come back to this really quick, but in the back, we put some broccoli rob. Last year, I started that from seed and I put them in ground and whatever pest munched and munched and munched on them that we didn't get any. So I'm choosing to put them in the raised bed. Now I wanna go over here really quick because we're starting Alabama blue collars. And what I liked about these right here is it stated that the leaves are smaller and the plant doesn't get as big so you can space them uh, a little bit closer together, which is that, that is what we did. And so I will back up right here. Um, I felt that we just still had a little bit too much space. I know these are small. I know they're gonna get big, but I spaced them a little bit closer. However, I put these cat masunas that were right here. Um, we've grown them in the past when we were in Savannah and they were absolutely um, great. Now, in the front, we had some pansies that we bought, um, and we still have some that we started from seed, but I felt, let me just go ahead and put this right here, and one has actually bloomed. Now, this is a mix, so we're not gonna know which, we're not gonna know which, what colors they are until they start to bloom. Honey, look at, look at him. Look at him. You go ahead and get whatever it is in that plant that you need. Okay, y'all, so again, I'm going to go ahead put the diatomaceous earth down around each of these seedlings. I shared with you in a short before, it's very critical that when you have small seedlings like this, you have got to check. Um, I'm gonna put some more in the patio container. I'll make sure I link that video because I know that it is the slugs that are crawling up there, but they're trying their best to take out my pansies and I will not allow them to do that. Um, but it's really important that you check at these stages right here. So we're gonna just put some over. We're gonna put our straw mulch on for protection. We're going to put some more diatomaceous earth on there and we're gonna put our supports on. I'm gonna water this in first. Although we've had a lot of rain over the past few days, um, I'm, I still like to go ahead and give my seedlings a good water in. I'm gonna do it on the shower or either the mist cause these are really small. And then we are going to start letting this bed grow and then we're going to work on another one y'all but we can officially say this bed is planted up again there may be there, there may be some plants that just check out this is why a lot of people argue with me on this but i'm telling you this is the method that i do this is why i always plant more seeds than what i think i'll need because we've had some that want to check out and that's okay, they don't wanna be in this space, but we have some that are ready and willing to be in the space. And so we'll let them be a part of this season's garden. <laughs> so things are starting to look so different because um, I'm just going to pan over to the right of me and you see we still have things that are summer that are grown and they're tall um, I'm actually just leaving these up because we have so many bees uh, that just like feed and feast on them every day but eventually they are going to come down but I'm just looking at how much it's changing. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, y'all, because I want you to see the growth of these little seedlings over the next few weeks as we go into fall. And just to give you a preview, we planted this bed a few weeks ago and it's really starting to uh, get growth on it, come together. The colors are looking beautiful. And I know the same will be um, for these as well. So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. And if you are not a subscriber, go ahead, tap the subscribe button. Make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.